Voyager 1. Humanity's farthest reach the most distant object ever built by human hands isn't on Earth. It doesn't orbit a planet. It doesn't circle a moon or hover near any known star. It floats, silently, steadily, through the endless void between the stars. A lonely traveler from a distant time. That object is Voyager 1. Launched by NASA on September 5, 1977, this robotic emissary has journeyed farther than any other creation in human history. As of today, it has traveled more than 22 billion kilometers from Earth, a staggering distance that defies comprehension. It continues its mission, hurtling away from the Sun at over 61,000 kilometers per hour, piercing deeper into space with every heartbeat of time. And yet, for all its speed, Voyager isn't just a vessel of motion, it's a vessel of meaning. Imagine a spacecraft built with 1970s engineering, no touchscreen, no GPS, no AI. Its computing power is less than that of a modern digital wristwatch. Yet Voyager 1 is still alive, still communicating, still whispering across a cosmic chasm so vast it takes light over 22 hours to make the journey back to Earth. Its signal, powered by a 23-watt transmitter, weaker than a fridge light bulb, still reaches us, received by massive radio antennas in NASA's Deep Space Network. We listen. And astonishingly, it still speaks. But Voyager's most impressive achievement isn't just how far it has traveled. It's what it continues to teach us, about the universe, about the boundaries of the solar system, and about ourselves. Globe a rare window in time, Voyager's story begins not with its launch, but with an observation, an insight that changed the course of space exploration. In the 1960s, a young engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Gary Flandro, made a remarkable discovery. While studying planetary orbits, he noticed that the four outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, would align in a rare formation between 1977 and 1980. This wasn't just an astronomical coincidence. It was a cosmic opportunity. Such a lineup occurs only once every 176 years. And with it came a once-in-a-lifetime chance. The ability to launch a single spacecraft that could visit all four gas giants using a technique called gravity assist. By slingshotting around one planet after another, a probe could dramatically increase its speed and adjust its trajectory, without using additional fuel. It was like building an interplanetary expressway through the outer solar system. NASA moved fast. They designed and launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 2, launched on August 20, 1977. Voyager 1, launched just 15 days later, on September 5. Although Voyager 1 launched second, it took a faster trajectory and soon passed its twin. The original mission was modest in scope just four years, to explore Jupiter and Saturn. But what followed would redefine our understanding of the solar system. Ringed planet turning dots into worlds when Voyager 1 arrived at Jupiter in 1979, it delivered the first close-up, high-resolution images of the gas giant's turbulent atmosphere. We saw Jupiter not as a pale dot through a telescope, but as a colossal, living planet. Its famous great red spot turned out to be a vast, centuries-old storm larger than Earth itself. Its magnetic field dwarfed anything we had ever seen, stretching millions of kilometers into space. But the true surprise came from its moon, Io. Voyager's instruments revealed volcanic eruptions, real, active volcanoes spewing molten sulfur hundreds of kilometers into space. Before that moment, volcanism was thought to exist only on Earth. The solar system had just become much more alive than we thought. Next came Saturn. Voyager 1 flew by in 1980, unveiling new rings, thin, faint, delicate bands that had gone undetected from Earth. It discovered previously unknown moons, mapped complex weather systems, and explored Saturn's magnetic field. But Saturn's most mysterious feature was its largest moon, Titan. Shrouded in a dense, orange atmosphere thicker than Earth's, Titan became the first moon known to have a stable atmosphere. Scientists began to speculate. Could there be lakes, oceans, or even the chemistry of life hidden beneath that haze? Voyager had shown us that the outer solar system wasn't just cold and distant, 
It was dynamic, complex, and full of surprises. Wrench powered by persistence, each Voyager spacecraft was built with the tools of its time. Each one is roughly the size of a small car. Its memory? Just 68 kilobytes. It used magnetic tape recorders, technology you might associate with old cassette players, to store images and data. Yet even today, Voyager is still transmitting data. It's still teaching us about solar winds, magnetic fields, plasma waves, and cosmic rays. All of this is possible thanks to its radioisotope thermoelectric generator, a small nuclear battery that converts the heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. But that power is dwindling. Every year, it loses a little more. And one by one, its scientific instruments have been shut down to conserve power. S Voyager 1, beyond the edge of the sun when Voyager 1 completed its encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, its mission could have ended. But NASA saw a new frontier, interstellar space, the region beyond the sun's influence. The boundary, known as the heliopause, is where the solar wind loses its strength against the forces of the galaxy. For decades, scientists debated where it was. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed it, 121 astronomical units from Earth. It became the first human-made object to leave the solar system. But the crossing wasn't simple. Cosmic rays surge. Solar particles vanished. Yet the magnetic field stayed the same, unexpected and mysterious. The edge of our solar system, it turns out, isn't a sharp line but a turbulent, shifting border. As Voyager moved beyond, it entered truly uncharted territory, detecting bizarre plasma waves and cosmic structures never before seen. Comet toward the Oort cloud now. Voyager 1 is heading toward the Oort cloud. A vast shell of icy remnants from the solar system's birth. It may take 30,000 years just to pass through it. By then, Earth may be unrecognizable, or even gone. But Voyager will keep drifting, untouched, through the dark. DVD The Golden Record bolted to its side is a message, a golden record, curated by Carl Sagan and his team. It carries greetings in 55 languages, sounds of Earth, waves, laughter, a kiss, and music from Bach to Blind Willie Johnson. There are images of DNA, animals, cities, and humans. It's a time capsule. A portrait of who we were, sent into the cosmic dark not just for aliens but for us. Even if no one ever finds it, the message still matters, we were here. We reached out. We dared to dream beyond our world. Candle a dimming signal Voyager's power is fading. Its nuclear battery weakens each year. Systems are shutting down one by one. By 2030, Voyager will fall silent. No more data, no more contact. But its journey won't end. It will continue coasting through the stars, a silent monument to human curiosity and courage. Shooting star what Voyager means Voyager 1 isn't just a spacecraft. It's a symbol of exploration, of resilience, of wonder. It reminds us that while we are small, our questions are vast. That even in the darkness between stars, we left behind a trace of who we are. And Voyager still asks us, in its silence, what lies beyond the horizon? Who are we really? What wonders remain to be found? Megaphone call to action if Voyager's story moved you, share it. Let others know that something built by human hands is still out there, carrying our voice through the stars. What do you think Voyager has taught us? Is its journey truly over, or just beginning? Let us know in the comments.